A super special shout out to all my amazing members and patrons for going above and beyond in supporting the channel. If you want to join them, consider becoming a patron. The link as well as the associated perks are in the description down below. Hey everyone and welcome back to Ravenhurst. As you guys can see, it's already the morning of day 13, which means this week will be the day of the 14th Horde. Um, our level's already level 17, game stage 44. That's just weird because in Tongo mod by day 7 we had 135, but anyways. <laughs> the Horde Knight should be a little bit more impressive than day 7. Uh, also, as you can see over there, there's a purple dude on the floor. Um, we're not getting yellow runners anymore, we're getting blue runners. So they're a little bit tougher. I had to kill one of you during nighttime. At least the door and stuff was able to help me. Um, my food is actually getting a little bit low. So what I want to do is make some bacon and eggs. Unfortunately, to make bacon and eggs, you need fried bacon and fried eggs. Let me just see. Do we have any eggs over here? I think even that's spoiled. Technically, coffee beans go over there. Anyways, uh, yeah, we need, uh, we need bacon and eggs. Now, if you make that, I want to show you guys this. Bacon and eggs, you need fried bacon, fried eggs, and in your cooking pot. To make the fried bacon... Uh, let me just see. Fried bacon. Over here. We need sliced white meat. Now, we have cured white meat. If you go and check recipes, it says over here, you have to make it to, into sliced. You need a hunting knife. And also, it has to be done inside a food prep table. So, if you say prep... Food prep table. We have to make this. At the moment, I mean, we can still rely on cans and stuff because that's going to be uh, another thing we have to look for, a hunting knife. Although, wait, didn't we have a spare hunting knife? Yeah, we did. So we could use this hunting knife as a tool in the table. We just actually have to make the table. Although, it's going to require us to have quite a bit of forged iron. And I think that's the one thing we don't have at the moment. Let me just make sure. Yeah, we have to make more. We could easily smelt more in. Let me just check over here. Yeah, we can smelt more in and we can just make it like so. 3 minutes 25. Let's do that. I don't want to waste any fuel. Oh yeah, I forgot you can't put stuff inside. It's a shame you can't put stuff inside outputs. I don't want to waste any fuel right now. We also have 97 cobble blocks. Um, I need to see if we can't make even more. So we our whole goal right now is to make more cobble and then from that make more cobble blocks. But we're going to need way more mortar as well. For those of you who don't know, to make more to sand, cobble, and water. So we're going to need way more of this water over here. What I actually really, really do, because you can actually turn this water, this infected water that you... This is the water you scoop up in the world. You need this and you need charcoal. Now we have some charcoal, I think, unless we used up already. I think you can even use coal over here. Or you can turn it into charcoal. What we need is a grill. So when we're out and about, we need to see if we can't break a girl and then go for that. I haven't had it in this quest yet. We have to make sure we do as many quests as possible as well. Because we are going to need better weapons and gear as soon as possible right now. Many thanks. You've proved to be very Okay, fire axe kind of need this, but I mean, it's going to break so fast. We're already using the stone axe to open up stuff. Um, it's easy enough to make and maintain, so I wonder if I should stick with that. And then for now, just go for the bundles. I know this might be a mistake, a lot of you will actually go for the Iron Fire Axe, but we need to think about stamina and durability and craftability and stuff. So I'll go for that one. We'd have to see, also see if we can't get double rewards as soon as possible. Okay, the closest quest we're going to go for. We have to spam these quests before Ward Knight. Mar Baker and Sons Baker. I think I know which PRI this is. Okay, so we have 2,900. We already have the Mining Helmet Lights, so that's awesome. Chemistry Station, 20,000. Damn. Uh, springs we could buy. Stuff that's not too easy to come by, we can just buy. This is a thousand. Oh, two hundred. Oh, cost a hundred for a hundred. Or, yeah, they be in buying fifties. So I could buy wood. Well, what do I need wood for at the moment? I don't think I actually really need wood. We What we really need is cobble. So if I see any cobble over here, I'm buying it. If I see mortar over here, I'm buying it. Unfortunately, it only resets day 15, so we don't really have anything over here we need. It is Maybe unfortunate. Happy travels, oh, food, 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 food. We make sure, make sure our food doesn't get too low. The nice thing is we can actually eat like canned foods of cat food and stuff. And even Come the binged uh, food it, containers, it, it, as long as you take vitamins before eating them, you can even eat those. Can of dog food, bag of chips. I really want to get my water low, but we do have water to offset it so we can actually buy those. Yep, our goal right now is just to do as many quests as possible. By day 14, I want a proper weapon to be able to fight all these zombies with. 
Also, I'm hoping since we already found a wrench once, we'll be able to find another one soon too. Nice. Okay, not bad. The stun baton especially, I should probably get used to using this a little bit more. Uh, for those of you who don't know, basically the stun baton can help you even when ferals and stuff are around. So if your skills are high enough, you just keep the zombie stun lock. At the moment, the bleed is really helping me. I know there's a mod, 28 alphas later or something, where you can't bleed zombies because zombies are already undead. How do you bleed the undead? Yeah, it seems to have to go this way. It's just a fetch. Just a fetch. Come on. I should probably also try... Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Um, I should try and get all the resources and stuff inside a place as well. You never know how much cobble there's going to be. I'll come back through for all the resources. Is there a girl over here? I think the cooking girls are usually in the backyards of places. You don't really find that inside your eyes. You find that like at the backyards of trailer parks and stuff. Yeah, she's going for the door. Ooh, got stuck on that play just now. That is not good. Okay, make sure there's nothing else of here that I really need right now. We'll check, but I'm not going to grab right now until we really need it. The empty jars I definitely kind of need to grab. At least with the empty jars, we can make or grab more water. I might get off the vehicle. I really love this knife. Although, the moment we start fighting bosses and stuff, we'll have to shock them over bleeding them. At the moment, the bleeding is helping really a lot with all of these zombies. But, I mean, look when we come across, like, cops and ferals and stuff. They don't really stop in their tracks when we smack them. Okay, we do have a shovel, so I'll come back for all the resources after we clear the place. Especially the cobble. The more cobble I can grab like this, the better. There's my fetch. So, at least if I was to die, we don't have to worry about the quest failing. Always make sure the quest objective is done first before doing anything else. Hello, lady. You're not feral, are you? Ah, she is. Feral lady. Ooh, perfect. But well, unfortunately, you can't pick these up. You have to go... And wrench them, but we don't have the wrench anymore since we made ourselves that workbench. See, so yeah, a stun baton can really help in these situations. Trying to bleed that office lady is just too dangerous. Blunt weapons. I'm cooking, wiring. This one I'm actually thinking of scrapping because we already have one. I was about to say, where are we supposed to go? And just as I thought it, he broke through for me. Now be careful, I see there's a few zombies outside as well, you can actually hear them. When I go through to uh, this place to loot it, I also need to go and break down these cabinets for more nails. The more nails we can find right now, the better. Lockers, please, 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 please. Storage. Damn it. That would have been awesome. And there's gonna be a few zombies falling out the roof. You are just a male zombie. You look creepy as hell, though. Okay, that's unlocked, so we're supposed to go that way. But I'm guessing these are like bathrooms and stuff over here. I should probably see if I can't get some steroids somewhere. If I can have some steroids to carry more stuff with me, that'd be awesome. That's locked. It's locked. As soon as I make a hole of it, I'll be able to smack them through it. But until then, can't do anything. This trash. Come on, give me something good, man. Get all these chairs over here. There's a nice amount of nails. I definitely come and grab all these nails over here. Anything gonna fall out the roof? Something just fell. But I think it fell outside. Let me just close it. Oh, hello. Oh, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. You ass. Okay, do we have any uh, fire extinguisher? Yeah, we do. 
Okay, so even his vomit can, and as you see just now, even his vomit can go and set stuff off. That would have been a little bit close. The nice thing is, if we can clear out the place with the zombies with these glasses we have on, and then go and loot the place with this, that'd be awesome. Okay, so at least I was able to stop the fire. You know how much, uh, how many nails we'll be able to get from all of these containers of here? It's awesome. How awesome this is this? Power attacks. Is it, if I can make sure I have a... I need an ergonomic grip on this, but the mod level is not high enough. And then I need to put some points into this, but I think it's under batons. Or um, a melee weapon, blunt weapons. It's under the severe, so I need to go into blunt weapons. Baseball bat. It says here, telescopic baton. So it counts for batons as well. If I put a point into this, I should be able to get more of this weapon and then also hopefully use it better. Oh, blades crafting. We can even make better knives and stuff. If I put a point into this as well, we won't lose 100 yet ability when uh, repairing stuff. Only about like 90 or 80. Oh crap, that goes down. It's never good when it goes down. Let's just, just in case, do this. I don't know what's going to be there uh, down there. It might be a feral, it might be a Anything. Oh, he's just a normal businessman. I think the rest will be in these containers over here. Nothing inside of that one. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, just this one zombie. Unfortunately, since this was not a clear quest, we can't see any dots. There might be another cop down here, might be a feral down here. What is that? What is it? What is that? Okay, at least none of you guys seem to be feral, which is awesome. I guess to show day one and two, we got a lot of ferals just walking out and about. Now that we're doing these quests, don't you dare go on all fours. Now that we're doing these quests, all of a sudden, it's so much easier not getting ferals. Okay, that should have been all of them. We could even hide over here, but they'll be able to climb through this hole so easily. You think you're safe until you climb into that hole. Oh, I need to get into that safe, but I don't think we have any lockpicks or anything on us. That's unfortunate. That also goes upstairs and out, and then we just have to get this final stashes over here. Please, I need better weapons. With my game stage and my level, I should start getting some proper non-scrap weapons. And hopefully that's all I really need right now. I also have to be careful because the zombies up top... They were breaking through at one metal door. I think they might have broken through already. Oh, I need to eat and drink. Oh, hello. I didn't even see this one over here. Oh, okay. It's, it's not the like best, but it's something. I can't even get back up over there. I'm going to have to do it from the front. That's a shame. Basically, I think the zombies that were on the one side uh, managed to break through right now. So I need to go back there. They're, they're actually going to fall on top of me up here. They're very, very close. So the moment they do that, I'm going to have to fight them. So I have to make sure I don't use up too much stamina. Ooh, didn't even realize the zombies were this close to me just now. In the crotch. Hello, come on. I'm busy taking everything apart over here. I also saw this, but I think this just broke. Oh, okay. So you came from upstairs, definitely. They should make it so that some zombies can't fit through openings. Like, if I were to go inside that jail cell at the back, she's too big to fit through. But you know, you just know she's gonna be able to fit through that. Okay, so, finally open this up. Let's just really loot this. I wanna go upstairs and quickly grab all of those chairs as well. We have so many... I wonder if it's possible to break these and pick them up. Imagine you can actually take these containers with you. That bow is the same as my current one. This one... Yeah, we have to scrap all the notes that we do know. 
Unfortunately, this is about to fail, uh, to expire. I just ate and drank. I ate the three chips and then drank one of these. And it seems it doesn't reset this one over here, unfortunately. So I'm going to end up losing this one. Oh, I'm going to drink it just before it, uh, before it ends up stinking. <laughs> Whatever that's called. Okay, so, um, yeah. Please, I need some steroids. Damn. It would have been awesome if that box gave me steroids just now. Then I can actually afford to go upstairs and quickly grab everything else, too. See, if we had lockpicks, I'd go and break this, but unfortunately we don't. Don't need... This also gives you nails. Anything that might have been uh, stuck together with nails and stuff gives you nails. So I'm going for everything that I think might have nails in it. Although even these might have. I even went for a door and that didn't have nails. So it's not a guaranteed everything. You are outside. Are you outside, outside? Or no, you're inside. I should have probably checked her eyes first before jumping down. If her eyes were yellow, she would have been a feral. Okay, so this is just going to give me... Yeah, uh, corn flour. I don't need that right now. What I do need is, like, the resources over here. And then all the chairs that we went past. Oh, this door opened up when I flicked the other switch. No wonder they got in so easily. Because okay, so I just got two lockpicks from this one over here. I wonder if it's worth going down and really testing that safe. Yes, awesome! Oh, wow. It failed between 18 and 15 seconds. I was like, oh, okay, it's going to fail again. And it actually went from 15 seconds all the way. That was awesome. Oh, I see an airdrop as well, so I should probably go for the airdrop. But we're so encumbered right now, we first have to go and drop everything off at the base. Nice. Not bad at all. I got just the thing for what's ailing you. Okay, so let's Attitude. see what reward you're going to give. We, only, we can only accept one reward. I wonder if I shouldn't go for an iron pick. Um, although the steel is also important. I think the pick is better because we'll be able to bust open containers better than with this one. If you do this and you hover over this, it shows this one's 6 melee damage. No, uh, 21 block damage weaker. Although the stamina usage on the stone pick is better. This one you can hit 95 times. This one you can hit 65 times. But as long as you can put a mod on it, it might actually work. See, this one can actually have one mod on because it's level. It's a yellow level. So yeah, I think we should, let's go for the, uh, the pickaxe. But I need space. So one thing over here needs to go. I think we have more than enough stone at the base. Might be the wrong choice to drop, but I mean, we don't really have space right now. I also have to see how far away are we from being able to accept two rewards. There's an airdrop over there as well. So this one, it is towards the prison. I should try and see if I can't get a quest to the north, but I don't think there are any. Southwest, northwest, born born fields. Let's do this one. You the man. Oh no 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 no! I'm gonna die. I don't have enough stamina. Ooh, boy oh boy. Um, yeah, our first whisperer, NPC with um with melee. Unfortunately for you, I can jump up, even though I'm encumbered. Oh, he's actually healing himself as well, and he's healing quite fast. I saw a zombie walking over there, but I couldn't figure out what the hell it was. Oh yeah, I completely forgot there's whisperers as well, so it's actually humans walking in between the zombies. That is terrifying. Okay, I actually want to try something. Apparently in the workbench you can combine stuff. Just like in Darkness Fall. So over here, I want to combine this knife with this knife. One of the items you are combining has mods attached. Okay, so it's not like Darkness. It's basically like the Darkness Falls before, except that this one at least warns you. In Darkness Falls now, it's original item, so it can keep its mods. And then new item. 581. So you barely, if, instead of repairing it for, but ah, it's not fully repaired. I wonder if I repair this one. First, oh, duct tape. Almost forgot about it. It uses duct tape, not um, the repair kits I have on me. Okay, so we do that. We do this. Yeah, I think that's better. Losing only 40 durability instead of 100 when I repair it. This one lost 100. So I'll definitely be doing that. Thank you. The slower these break, the better for us. And then we'll put that on there as well. Serrated blade. 
These are about to break or fail, so I definitely want to go and take them. I need better armor too. Unfortunately, at the moment, our armor is not looking really great. Where did I put the armor? We need, we need to actually accept more from over here. Um, I want to put these on my boots, but we don't have really any boots. We do have these boots over here, but they make noise. And I want to be as quiet as possible, as stealthy as possible when going for these zombies. That's all resources. And then I still have to look for that cooking girl. I'm kind of tempted to kill the animals so we can get some more leather from them. Uh, we're basically not going to go. Let me just redo this. We're not going to go and get the meat because that's going to spoil too fast. Come on. There's way too much HP left. Come on, damn it. I need all the leather or the hide from it to be able, uh, able to make more leather. Especially for the one quest. But he keeps zigzagging every time I shoot. Oh, you almost turned into the bullet just uh, into the arrow just now. Yeah, this is useless. I can't catch up with them. And unfortunately, every time I shoot, I don't know if they're getting scared of the zombies or of me, but they're definitely moving every time I want to shoot. There you go. I just want to skin this one because we want all the leather from it. The meat's definitely going to spoil before we can do anything with that. Oh, wow. Why do I only get one hide from that? That's... That's a little bit insane. I thought I was going to get way more hide from that. Okay, so now I have to be careful. Uh, this is about to spoil, so let's drink it. Ooh, just in time. Almost forgot about it. Now, at least our food and water is all the way full. We don't have to worry about that. But we do have to be careful because since our level has gone up and our game stage, I have a feeling that these zombies over here are not going to be very easy. Let's wear that. Thank you. Get all the nuts and berries over here. Okay, well, yeah, we might get we might start getting to some tier twos of here now, so we have to be careful. These are all still tier one. Okay, cool. I can't afford to get too far away from this quest as well. The moment you get too far away from the drop of here, they spawn more. Need a better weapon, like a proper hunting knife with all the mods on or something like that. Oh man, this knife is awesome. It doesn't knock them down as much as the hunting knife, but at least it does damage. And that's the whole thing. That's the whole thing you really have to worry about, the damage of the weapon. And also the speed. It attacks a little bit faster than the hunting knife, so it's a little bit better in that regard. Come on, come on, come on. I think there's a zombie behind me. It's not the one to the top left of the screen. There's a zombie actually behind me. Hazmat boots, yes! How much coin was that? 1,400 coins. Okay, that was her. The audio definitely sounded like it was coming from behind. That's... No, thank you. Whoops. Imagine she just infected me from that one shot. See, this dude over here is called uh, a runner. Or at least at night, it's called a runner. And you can see he's orange. He's not the normal bow. But there's now like a, a bluish one. It almost looks like he's electrified or iced. So those ones during nighttime are a little bit tougher, which means our game stage has definitely gotten better or higher. Okay, so we have food that can spoil. Let me just really drink that. We have some honeycomb. The meat's definitely going to spoil. And we have an animal. Nice. Okay, we have some visitors before we even start the quest, Livia. At least it seems like a small-ish POI, so hope... Oh, it's not this one. Oh, it's going to be the farm of... Okay, cool. Um, if we see some pigs over here, which they usually are, we might be able to skin them. But I think the pigs are on the inside if they are. I really, really, really need the hydra right now. The meat's gonna spoil, because like I said, I'm not making enough food to actually last. But I really need this, like, a proper fridge, because apparently that slows the spoilage, like, a lot. So if we can make ourselves a working fridge, that'd be awesome. I wonder, so far, if we pick up an oven, we get an oven. If I were to go and pick up a fridge, would that just give me the parts or would that actually pick up the fridge for me? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Thank you. Rotting flesh, I don't know what I'll need that for. There's only at the back or inside? It's around the back, okay. 
I should probably need to wait for that zombie to get to me right now because he's going to be trouble. Especially since he is a biker. One of the toughest zombies to kill in the game. So there's five zones or uh, areas inside this field either we have to clear top right. I first thought that just meant there's like five zombies. But nope. That means there's one, two, three, four, five locations. We're getting way more orange people as well. It used to be just a feral white. Now it's quite a few more. If they can make a hole right now to get to me, awesome. And I can hit them while they're making the hole. I don't want too many zombies interfering right now. I thought the spawn was a zombie just now. That would not have been awesome. Okay, I think there's going to be a snake or something over here as well. And then... There's definitely some balls or some things over here. We can get their hides as well. Hello, boars? Nope, no balls this time. Wait, what? There's usually one or two balls over here. I need to try and stealth more. This dude, I would have been able to get a nice chunk of his HP if I got him by surprise. Like, for example, this one over here. Oh, that was not a headshot. But yeah, that was more than half his HP just now, so it's, it's kind of worth it. Please, I need another wrench. There's a lot of resources over here, so on the way out, we'll be able to grab those. First things first, we have to clear all the zombies. I wonder if we can also get backpacks from, like, these over here. That would be cool, but I don't think that is possible. It might be possible, but as far as I can see, it's not. Be careful of more whispers. There's that door. And be careful of all the zombies outside, especially all those runners. Okay, she might have been feral, so that was dumb of me. But at least there's a ton of resources over here we can grab after. Okay, and I need to quickly see if I can't stealth that. It might be a wandering horde outside because I can hear a ton of noise. But I think it's probably just going to be the, uh, that runner, uh, those runners, the orange ladies. Okay, I want to grab all the resources over here, all the stone, all the cement, all the uh, the clay. We'll be able to make quite a bit of trouble with this. Okay, this gun, I need to also always, always, always make sure it's reloaded. Especially since we're starting to get those whisperers now. And turn this lights off. Ah, crap. I have to go and kill them because they're part of the kill quest. Okay, you. Easy enough. Just please don't bust my legs right now. That's all I'm hoping for. If they go and break my legs right now, I'd be so miffed. Okay, so at least the clear areas are done. Now we just have to grab the final loot of here and grab the resources. There's so much noise downstairs right now. I don't know if it's going to be like a wandering horde or just the outside zombies. Uh, don't need. Now that we know we can actually combine weapons and get like a little less degradation, that's awesome. But we still do get degradation. Come on, come on, come on. Give me something really good right now. Eh. It's okay. It's not great, but it's not bad. This over here, we can't even uh, go and scrap for some leather. Come on, man. Steroids. Why are steroids so hard to come by? Oh. <laughs> nice. Well, I'm not going to use it this time. Oh, almost fell to my death. Oh, okay. Did I get all the resources? Oh, there's weapons back over there as well. Did I get all the resources upstairs just now? I don't know. Also, I just realized these don't give you stone. They give you brick. I don't know what you can actually make with this. Recipes, bricks, mold. Yeah, but uh, what is the brick for? Like, what can you use the bricks for? There has to be something, right? There's quite a few zombies downstairs as well, so I have to be really careful right now. I just need this room across from us because there's a lot of resources inside that room. And then I want to go for this weapons bag. 
Okay, so they're already upstairs because they're caving through the floor. That's a room with all the resources at the end right now. Yep. It seems it was just the random zombies outside because it's not the toughest of zombies falling down right now. You can see there's still some resources downstairs, but we first have to go grab all of this. Hello, come on. Come on, there you go. Just please don't break all my resources right now. That's mine. Oh, come on. This was about to go and break it. The nice thing is the way they did that just now, it's going to allow one, one zombie at a time to jump over. Not all of them. See, it's a single file row. So much easier when you just have a single file of zombies to kill. Okay, I have to grab all the resources over here and then we are done with this place. And this we have to just go and hand it in. The trader doesn't close. I can't remember. <laughs> with all the mods that I play, some traders do close, some don't close. So it's really hard to remember which do and which don't. Do we even have the Grave Digger mod on over here? But I need to do more block damage. Mining tools. I need to... See, the more we dig right now, the more we'll be able to go and mine into this. Then we can make scrap pickaxes and shovels and stuff. At the moment, we're just not doing enough damage. I have to do one power attack, one left click. And this one over here, we can just do... No, that's a full attack. Oh, the half bag. We can do left click, but the rest have to do power attacks. So a full block is a power attack and a left click. This one over here is just a power attack, but as you can see, stamina is a problem. And then, it's not even these. There's like one bag slightly tilted. That's the one I'm looking for right now. That's just one left click. To give you guys an idea, this is what I'm talking about, the blue dudes. There's even blue Arlene's right now. It's not even fully nighttime yet. So you have to be really careful. At nighttime, they're a little bit stronger than the orange ones and slightly faster too. At least she's not feral. But yeah, they're slightly faster, slightly stronger, so we have to be really careful when we're clearing places right now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Only problem is the boss... Uh, th this business lady is easy enough to kill, but she has so much HP, like way more than her friends. So if I can avoid attacking her right now, that'd be awesome. Uh, we need this. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. If I can stun her, that'd be awesome. Where's the pigs? You used to be able to get a ton of pigs over here, and then you can just get the meat from that, but it seems they've been removed over here, since you need all of that hide. We still need to find that cooking grill as soon as possible to make charcoal and water and stuff for more water. Anything you like? Um, yeah, the crossbow is definitely a bonus, and up from this. I think we might even have some bolts, but I'm looking for notes. Let's just go for the crossbow. It's a little bit slower, but it does more damage. I can start doing a little bit more stealth. And then after Horde... Oh, well, not after Horde Knight. Uh, later, we can go and do... This is a large... Lim what? Limodor Limodorian? Holy... I don't know what that is. Release auto. Okay, I'm just going to go and drop all of that stuff, uh, stuff off at the base. I'm going to keep the steroids and the lockpicks on me. Uh, we even have honey for infections on me as well. But yeah, I'm going to keep this stuff on me. I have to always make sure this gun is reloaded now that we have the whisperers going. And I'll see you guys next time. If you guys liked this episode, leave a like and share with your friends. Comments, tips, and feedback, leave it down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Ravenhurst fun. Members and patrons get shoutouts in all of my videos, get access to a private members-only Discord channel, and as a thank you for supporting the channel, get access to my seminars that I server. If interested, check out the links in the description down below.